Today, we're gonna talk about wrapping it up. Say hi to J3 as we walk. Because if you don't wrap it up, people, you're gonna end up with one of these in your near future. Just kidding. Okay, technically that's true. What's up, YouTubers? It's your girl, Shannon, from EV and Chill. And in today's video, we are talking about car wraps. Specifically, we're gonna talk about the differences and similarities between PPF and vinyl wrap. We're gonna talk about durability. We're gonna talk about protection, maintenance, and even cost. But before we get there, first, cue that sexy montage. with and how fire these vehicles are let's do a little bit of a deeper dive and we'll start with the ev6 i call her green lantern on this baby we have this beautiful emerald green matte wrap that's what it's technically called to me this looks more like a satin finish and personally i call it british racing green because it makes me feel faster so we've got the wrap on this one and on the tesla model y i affectionately named her red light district uh, this is the SunTech Dino Matte PPF, and again, it's called matte, but to me it does, it looks a little bit more satin. So, now that we know what each of these are, let's go ahead and do our comparison. And let's talk about what vinyl is. Now, in my mind, I like to think of vinyl as basically like a giant sticker. I mean, we put stickers on things to kind of change the looks of things, right? That's essentially what vinyl does. I mean, it's completely changed the look of this vehicle. I mean, come back here with me. When we bought this vehicle from the factory, we bought it in this gravity blue color. And excuse the mess, but you can see how it's really sparkly. It's a completely different color. But when we brought it home, we immediately put this vinyl on. We did it ourselves, people. It was a task. It took a week to do, but we did the whole vehicle in this green color, and it looks like a completely different vehicle. I mean, this grabs so much attention. Now, as good as it looks, a lot of people ask me, how much protection does it provide? And that's really an excellent question. And come here, I wanna show you something. Now, vinyl is main purpose, again, is to change the look of the vehicle. Its main purpose isn't to provide protection. And we've owned this vehicle for four months. When we bought it from the dealership, we drove it straight home. It was 100 miles. And we drove super carefully because we didn't wanna wreck the paint. And we got it home, we put the vinyl on. But again, after driving it for four months, Come look at this. We already have a little chunk taken out right near a sensor. Now, I don't know when that happened or if it was a rock or some sort of road debris, but you can see that there is a little bit of damage there. Now, just rubbing my finger on it, I don't think it's really damaged any part of the car underneath the vinyl. I mean, I don't see any visible scratches or indentations there. So in that sense, yes, the vinyl did provide some protection. I mean, vinyl is gonna be better than just driving around with bare paint, right? So again, going back to vinyl, thinking about it being like a giant sticker, the pro about it is that it's a really quick, easy way to completely change the look of your vehicle. Now that being said, again, protection is pretty minimal. And I can tell you on average, vinyl is about three mils thick. And you might be thinking, Shan, what the frunk is a mil? A mil is one one thousandth of an inch. And that's really hard for me to say, one one thousandth. So it is, it's really thin. And now that we've talked about vinyl, let's switch gears and let's talk about paint protection film. Because the name protection is already in the name, it's kind of self-explanatory. This is literally meant to protect the paint. I kind of like to think of paint protection films as kind of like a big old shield to protect the vehicle, like a big old roll of saran wrap, only a little bit thicker. This paint protection film, it is eight mils thick. So it is, again, over double the thickness of the vinyl. And this is made to last. This here comes with a 10 year warranty. And we've seen paint protection films, not just in this matte or satin finish, but a lot of times people will get them in a glossy finish, which looks really cool because then it kind of maintains the original glossiness of the vehicle. Actually, let me just show you, come this way. When we bought the vehicle, we bought it in the red multi-coat color because we knew we wanted to do the satin finish on it. So when we bought it, it came kind of glossy, just like this. And here's a direct comparison of the satin finish versus the glossy finish. 
What's up, J3? <laughs> um, so we knew we wanted to do that. Now, a lot of people, they will just maybe do the front, maybe the front bumper or the hood of the vehicle. Again, as you can see, we chose to do the entire vehicle. But I think one of the biggest differences between PPF and vinyl, and I think the best way to tell you is really just to show you. Now, you know we covered the whole vehicle in PPF, but what we also did was just for aesthetic reasons, we added a piece of black satin vinyl right along the bottom lip here. Now, from a distance, it looks really awesome, right? Do you love it? I do. But if you come in a little bit closer, this is, of course, a high impact area on the road. Rocks, road debris will come up and nick it. And you can see we already have chunks taken out of the vinyl. Now again, underneath we have that paint protection film, which is unaffected, but you can see that the vinyl did not really hold up so well down here. But again, not to worry because there is the PPF underneath it, but also important to note, we have had this Model Y for six months, so a little bit longer than we've been driving the EV6, um, but this is how the vinyls really held up here. Now at this point, you might be thinking that these vehicles look super awesome, but they must be a pain in the bumper to maintain. And really, I'll tell you exactly what I do, because it's pretty easy. Now, first things first, I would recommend to never take a wrapped vehicle through an automatic car wash. And personally, I would never take any of my vehicles through an automatic car wash, PPF, wrap, or nothing, even with, just with bare paint. I just wouldn't do that. So what I do do is that I use a special soap solution that I got from Chemical Guys. If I'm gonna do a deep clean, that is the product that I use. It's specifically made for matte and satin finishes. I hook it up to my foam cannon, to my pressure washer. J3, do not, don't. <laughs> And when I say I do this, I really mean my husband does this. Uh, he looks a lot better in a wet t-shirt than I do. Uh, so that's what I do for deep cleaning. But usually, most days, let me show you what I do. I actually, on a day-to-day -day process, pretty much use products from EV Wash. Now this here, this again is approved for bare paint, matte finishes, satin finishes. This stuff is gonna get the job done. Typically what we do is we use, of course, the waterless wash. You can use it just to spot treat certain areas of the vehicle. Maybe there's some bird doo-doo on there. Maybe you wanna do the whole vehicle. But they also have an interior cleaner and a glass cleaner. And if you want, you can use my code in the description below to get 30% off. Your girl hooked you up. So this is what we use pretty much like on a weekly, if not daily basis. Honestly, we just keep this in the front. Even when we go on road trips, if we're stopping to charge, my husband is usually cleaning the vehicles. Now that being said, we've talked about kind of what vinyl is, what paint protection is, how we maintain them, their durability. Now you might be wondering about cost. And cha-ching people, these can get a little bit pricey. First, let's talk about the vinyl. Now again, we did this vehicle ourselves. For us, we got the vinyl, the squeegees, the heat gun, all of that for about $500. But if we were gonna have this done by a professional, this could cost anywhere from three grand to five grand. And that's gonna depend on a few different factors. One, the kind of vinyl they're using. Two, the reputation of the shop you're using. Three, the size of your vehicle and how difficult it is. So there are a few different factors that go into this. Now, paint protection film, on the other hand, that can vary in price too, based upon the same factors. For us, we got quotes on this ranging from six grand all the way to nine grand. Now this particular one, this cost us $6,500. We went to Capital Wrappers in Maryland. So if you're in that area, uh, look up Capital Wrappers. Yuri did a bombing job here. Um, so it can be a little bit costly. Specifically, this cost us $6,500 because they had a special. Now for you, you might choose a wrap or vinyl based upon your needs of protection, or maybe you just wanna do a different kind of look. For us, we chose vinyl and PPF on each vehicle for specific reasons. Number one, with the Tesla, we knew we wanted to have this vehicle for a long time. We knew this was the exact look we were going for. That's why we ordered the red multi-coat. We knew we were gonna do the satin finish on it. It was gonna look bombing. But we chose to go with vinyl on the EV6 because we knew we weren't gonna keep the EV6 for that long. And probably most importantly, we knew we wanted to make a huge statement on the road. And that's exactly what this British Racing Green does. I mean, it completely changes the vehicle. And I have to say for each vehicle, I think we really made the right decision. So drop a comment below. Let me know if you would PPF your car, if you would vinyl wrap your car, what color you would do, satin or clear, drop it in the comments below. Well, that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.